Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so the first card we have out is One Ring Circus. All right, so it's saying that right now, this is the time in order for you to find balance, in order for you to find um, peace, serenity, to get things done, to have like some system in place, you need to do it by yourself. Independence is key. This is going to be time for you to set real, firm, strong boundaries with a particular individual as you're creating, okay? Okay. Um, interdependent relationships, you know, they can be mutually supportive and all and so forth, but right now is the time for you to achieve on your own. Okay. So you just need to be discerning about who you partner with and who you take time with right now, because it's not for some of you, it's not going to be conducive to the journey, your journey to getting where you say you want to be. So that's how we're starting the reading. Let's see how Libra is coming into the reading. Let's see. How is Libra coming into the reading? How is Libra coming into the reading? How is Libra coming into the reading? Let's see. Oh okay. Too many fell out. Let's see. All right. So... Okay, so Libra, you could be coming into the reading. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords. So you're at a place where it's like you you know what you're doing, how you want to get there. You've been committed to the journey. Some of you, this was like spiritual journey. And you knowing that you had to cut something off or cut them out. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you are away from this person and being away from them on some type of retreat, spiritual retreat, physical retreat, you're realizing some things like this isn't gelling with you anymore. Like you, you have to really let go that maybe this has been an interdependent relationship or codependent relationship. Yeah, it's like um, maybe you were committed to loyal to something or someone and they weren't as loyal to you. Some of you are uh, coming into the reading, um, understanding that, you know, you have to get a little bit more firm in your plans and what you do, because it looks like you walk away a lot. Okay. Are you dealing with somebody who walks away? Somebody who gets to a place where with the eight of cups here, it's like, um, this was also somebody who had to walk away out of just like self-respect. Like they had to, self-analysis had to happen. It was like, you know, at this point, I'm just allowing it, whatever it was. This could be, this is how you're coming into the reading. This is also for some of you turning your back on somebody who is always in and out, hot and cold, off and on. And they consistently do that. The consistency is they will come back and then leave. It could be you, it could be the other person. Let's see what the advice is for Libra here. Let's see advice for Libra. Let's see advice. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so let something in, let it fall. This is the completion of a thing, the fullness. There's nothing more, there's nothing less. It is what it is at this point. Deal with it. There's a collapse. I don't know, like maybe some of you felt like you were going to collapse under the weight or the pressure of something or some. This could even be depression. I heard luck is on your side. I don't know what that means and how it works for you, but that's when I got the Ten of Swords here. It's like this could be a masculine energy too depression heaviness some of you want to leave home or you're always away from home 
it's time for you to be more independent and get things done. There was disappointment or door slammed in your face. Something didn't happen. It didn't pan out. It all fell apart. It's not time for you to be overly dramatic about it, but accept it and move on. This could have been a sudden death or something where somebody collapsed here. What? So if Libra takes the advice of the cards, the Knight of Cups, so now you get renewal, you get inspiration, you get new idea to bring in money, you get maybe a romantic gentleman or lady, you get somebody wooing you, courting you, wanting you to fall in love. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you get like a ring and offer proposal because that is proposal there. It's like you had to leave something behind to then get this. Now, it could be romantic in nature. This also talks about curse. And it talks about and like <laughs> 10 years a slave is what I heard. I know that's not it. It's 12, but... I don't know, it's like maybe you were a slave to your emotions, to being overly dramatic and, and emotional and just upset. You, you have to leave it alone. And for some of you, it is mental. You know, you have to deal with your mental uh, capacity, incapacity. I don't know. You have to deal with some depression. Something's going on here. And it's like you know that you have to set firm boundaries. And it's like you're looking at the past and wondering if you should fight for this. And for a lot of you, it's a big fat no, because being away from this, it seems as if you're in a more peaceful, calm, healing vibration by just letting something go, let it go. You've been holding on too tight, too loyal to it, too devoted, dedicated, even when it wasn't reciprocated. This is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy of a coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.